What's up guys? In our last video we talked about GPS and in the spirit of continuing the degoogled phone apps, today we're going to be talking about video consumption. I'm sure a lot of you who have hung out in spaces hearing about degoogled phones have heard about Newpipe. But Newpipe kind of sucks. And it sucks for specific reasons or a specific reason which is Google wants you to log in and verify your age to view certain content. Sometimes that content isn't even that spicy and I've had cases where my friends have sent me videos that were perfectly reasonable, perfectly normal videos to watch but because they're restricted according to YouTube's rules I wasn't able to view the content. One day when my friend sent me a video, I said, you know, I can't watch that. New Pipe won't open it because I'm not logged in and New Pipe just uses RSS feeds. He responded and made fun of me for not using the app that I'm going to show you today, which is SkyTube. In my last video, I did bring up that I'd prefer to show you videos from the F-Droid store and SkyTube is one of those apps. To download it, you'll just need to go to F-Droid and search for SkyTube. And then you should be able to download and install. I've already installed this before, so the option that's on my screen is just to install. It's a nice, lightweight app that mainly allows you to consume content from YouTube. Mental Outlaw has done a couple of videos in the past on watching YouTube videos from command line and most of those applications use something called MPV and I'm guessing that that's probably what SkyTube and possibly Newpipe use. We'll go ahead and open up SkyTube and see what's in here. They start off with the change log. Sometimes on the first load this feature page won't load up, but if we go over to the trending page, we should see some trending videos, just the normal stuff that Google has on their main homepage, usually stuff that I have absolutely zero interest in. Okay, it's not resolving right now, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video really quick because I'm probably connected to a VPN server that doesn't have YouTube access. All right, we're back. All I had to do was log in to Canada. See featured, still nothing showing up, but if we go over to trending US, then we can see a whole bunch of stuff. We can go over to feed. Of course, there's nothing in the feed right now because I haven't subscribed to any channels. Go over to bookmarks. Bookmarks are pretty cool because you can bookmark individual videos. On regular YouTube, you can add videos to playlists and save them or whatever. And then, of course, but we can go over to downloads. Like with Newpipe, you can download YouTube videos for consumption later. And then we'll go into the settings really quick just so you can have a look at what is in there. Video player, we can set the player's orientation if we want to do horizontal or vertical. If you want to hold your phone like that, then you can. Enabling of immersive mode. Volume and brightness gestures, I actually like the way that that's set up. Especially here in California, things get really bright. And so the gesture controls for brightness is really helpful. You can do video bl blocking, which is videos that got ratioed or whatever, so that they won't show up. You can add block lists, regions, languages, and then I think this d dislikes is part of the video blocking functionality. Import and export. This is for playlists. If any of you know of a way to convert between Newpipe and SkyTube for videos, the players are better for different things, different applications. Newpipe I really like for podcasts because it will play in the background so you don't have to have video going. And that's one advantage, even if you're on a, a Googled Android phone, why you may want to install Newpipe is 
you can listen to the audio only for your podcast, which is normally something that, that YouTube wants you to pay for. Network and downloads just sets things like resolution, video download re resolution. So just controlling for your network metering so that you're, you don't end up in a situation where you're paying overage fees. And then others, API key. So you can input your own or you can go with their anonymous one if you want. Going back to the player, we'll go ahead and pull up one of my videos so YouTube doesn't get mad about copyright striking. Nope, Nicholas Henke, go ahead and search. For channels, there's three dots in the bottom. You can click here. You can share, copy URLs, you can subscribe or block, or you can click on the channel and then go in and subscribe from there. Look at what playlists are available, and then look at information about the channel. Same type of stuff that you would find on YouTube. And then you can play actual videos. We'll just pull up kind of a random one here. Let's pull up this one right here, which is make your data worthless to big tech. The three buttons at the bottom you can open with. Probably allows you to open with NewPipe if you want. Let's check that out. Yeah. NewPipe or SkyTube. You can share, share URL, bookmark, download, view the thumbnail. I actually really like that. If you want to steal someone's thumbnail, you can just view it and then voila. Mark watched or block channel. If you click on the video, it will pull it up in immersive mode and it will show you gesture navigation. If we follow this guide, left to right allows you to view comments, bottom to top. If you're not in gesture mode, if you have the three buttons in the bottom, then you can swipe from bottom up to see video description. Click next. Left to right allows fast forwarding, right to left allows rewinding. Up and down on the left hand side allows you to control volume and then up and down on the right controls brightness. Double tap to pause or to play the video again. For metered network, I don't want to see the skin so I'm going to click never ask again and play the video. It's a bit of a lag, but we can see on the left this controls volume. So up and down controls the volume. And then on the right, this controls brightness. It's already pretty bright. We can go down. And you can see that it's much dimmer. And that's way washed out. It goes super bright. And of course, double tap to pause. And then double tap to play again. and we can exit the video. SkyTube has, again, certain advantages with being able to play videos. The immersive mode is really nice, or at least it, it looks really nice compared to SkyTube, which has kind of like a gray background below. There's a lot of videos out there on that, especially one from the hated one that I'll link right here so you can go check that out. Don't wanna remake his video because he's one of the biggest YouTubers in this space. But SkyTube definitely has a place in the ecosystem. It'd be really nice if you could switch your subscriptions or share your subscriptions between both apps. SkyTube stores their subscriptions in kind of a database file where it keeps a whole bunch of other stuff. NewPipe is a little bit simpler, just stores a basic XML file and then it just holds all the YouTube channels as an RSS feed, which is really nice for just pure simplicity but the portability of the app from device to device won't save all of your preferences over time. I really like both apps. I think they both have their place in anonymous consumption of video content especially from your favorite people online 
And of course, the third app that you would need to use if you wanted to engage with content, if you wanted to leave a like or leave a comment on someone's video, the other recommendation that I got from that same friend who recommended SkyTube is he will use his mobile browser. Mobile browsers have another set of advantages and disadvantages over these apps. Number one, they're not anonymous because presumably you're logging in. That's how you want to engage with the co content. They will play audio only in the background, but they won't do it by default in the same way that a new pipe would. Be between all three of the application types, I think you have a complete YouTube experience without necessarily compromising your privacy in ways that you may not want to for certain types of videos. But I, I think that in my case, I'm probably going to use all three because I've gone through and subscribed all my favorite people in both SkyTube and in New Pipe which again, I, I wish there was a way to just share the subscriptions between the two. And I see some reasons why I would log in on a mobile browser as well. So there are some disadvantages to a de-Googled phone, but the main advantage is improved privacy from big tech to where they're not collecting, aggregating your data and profiling you to sell you stuff you don't need, as we've covered in previous videos. If you liked what you saw here, please leave a like. If you have any questions about this app or anything else we do on this channel, please leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for stopping by. This is Nick, signing out.